Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we'll be looking at some path designs. This will just be a short video to showcase some ideas for blocks, some ideas for colours to use in your own Minecraft bases. So let's jump right into it. The first path we have here is I would say more of a basic path. This one would be more used for connecting up bases that are maybe further apart. Um, you maybe have a base over this way, a base over this way and you want a, a large path connecting up all your bases and um, this one would be more likely to have blocks that are easy to obtain in the game so this one here will have gravel, coarse dirt, podzo, path block and we have some leaves here with jack-o-lanterns underneath for lighting now I've added some stairs at the side as more of a detail for like a drainage system and I think this would look nice if it was a large path connecting up multiple bases in the area. The next path we have here is more of a sand style path. This could be used in a desert style base or biome. Um, I'm not sure if I quite like the design or the colour scheme or not. It's a little bit of um, a little bit of a strange one. You know, um, the blocks used here are sand. We have birch planks and stairs. We have some polished diorite, which is controversial, but I think using it just in a little bit here um, does give a nice effect. The next thing in this one that's quite interesting is the light design. We have a sea lantern with cactus inside some flower pots, and this light this gives us a nice design for um, some sort of thinner post design rather than using the fences. This is just decorated outside with some leaves and some grass blocks and some more of the birch fences. The next path here we have more of a stone design. This would fit I would say in with a more medieval themed base. I could see this path leading up to a castle or a kind of fort. We have a more rundown style path here with using some of the mossy cobblestone um, to simulate some nature taking over the path a little bit. The blocks here used are cobble, mossy cobble as mentioned. We have polished andesite. <laughs> we have acacia logs on their side. Um, we have some grass blocks bleeding in as well as the stairs and the buttons to add some depth to the path. Around the outside, the lights as you can see, they are daylight sensors on top of redstone lamps with some trapdoors around them, oak ones I've used for this. This next path we have here is more of a brown colour scheme, as you can see here. This would, I would say, fit in with a kind of ranch design, maybe out in the forest biome or a plains biome. I could see stables and a tavern or these kind of things leading from this path. The blocks used in the middle are brown terracotta. We have oak planks, oak stairs. We have stripped spruce logs on their side as well. We also have some coarse dirt in here and some pressure plates with buttons to add a little bit of depth. The interesting thing about this one is we have spruce fence gates along the outside. The interesting thing about these, when connected up to a wall, they actually bump down just a little bit. So it gives a nice little effect of more of an archway for the side detailing. And last but not least, we have a jungle styled path. The reason I say the jungle style path is I think this would fit in well in the jungle biome, maybe to a treehouse base or some kind of base linked up to hanging bridges or along trees. I think that would look really nice along the ground in that one. The blocks used in this one is coarse dirt. We have granite and polished granite as well as the path block and again some leaves in this one as well. I've put some sea lanterns underneath here. You could use jack-o-lanterns or glowstone. It wouldn't really matter, just whatever you liked for your own base. We have some of the brick walls on the outside and again some sea lanterns with the jungle trapdoors around them for the decoration on the outside. So that has been a quick overview of a few path designs and ideas that I've come up with. My top tips when creating these paths, I would try and always use around four different blocks to keep the variety in the path. This way you can jumble them up a little bit like this one um, and it just makes it more interesting for the player to look at as he's walking through. I would try and add depth in these paths with also using the the, the, the stair technique here 
Um, again, the pressure plates and buttons on top, these add depth as well. And the colour scheme as well is another important one. Try and keep it consistent. As you can see, this is a more reddish colour scheme. Brown, grey, a kind of lighter grey sand colour. And this one, maybe not so much a colour scheme, but more of a, a themed build of just nature. But I would say colour scheme is important. You want one block around about the middle running up that's going to stand out in these paths. This way the player knows that this is the path and all around is the decoration. So that is basically my overview and top tips for creating paths in Minecraft. Obviously there are thousands of combinations of blocks and colours you can use. But these are the quick few that I came up with just for the purposes of this video to hopefully inspire and give some ideas for people that are wanting to design a path. So that's going to be it for me today. But I hope you enjoyed and please leave a like and a comment with any suggestions of what you'd like to see and please also consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this in the future. So until next time, I will see you again, hopefully. Bye bye.